Alright, class, class. Yeah. 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 Even if you're not on the right page yet, I'm ready to start teaching so voices are off and eyes are up here. Nice job. As your friends are getting to the right page, I'm just going to kind of get our brains warmed up. Talk about our essential question this week. Our essential question is, what do myths help us understand? Have you talked about myths yet this week? Yeah. So that's the genre or the kind of story. Would you turn and talk with your partner or someone next to you real quick? Just remind them what a myth is. It's a fairy tale. 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 It's a Raise your hand if you'd like to share what you or your partner had to say about myths. Yes. They are not true stories. Agree or disagree? They are not true stories. Tell me a little bit more about myths. They're made up. They're made up. They're fiction. Anything else, Annabelle? Um, That's all right. What do you have to add? They're fairy tales. Fairy tales. So they're kind of wild fiction, right? There's often some magic. There's often an explanation of how something got to be the way it was. So these are make-believe fiction stories. Some people, class, class. So some people believe these myths, right? They explain maybe how the world became a certain way. So there is some people who believe that and it's part of their culture. So we're gonna read a myth today from a different culture in Puerto Rico. Say Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Nice job. When we get to that word, you're going to notice that, that that's a different culture. It's a set of islands and their um, habitat is different. So as we look at the pictures, yeah, be thinking about how it's the same and how it's different. We're also going to be talking today about the theme, and our theme, we need to figure out what the theme is. That's our purpose for reading today. Look up on my poster, everyone. Okay? Follow my finger and read out loud. Ready? Go. What is the theme of the golden flower? The golden flower is the name of our story. The theme is kind of what lesson are we going to learn? What lesson are we going to learn from the story? What's the main idea? So we're going to be listening for those clues and writing the clues down as we listen to the story. Thumbs up? We're listening for the theme. What lesson are we going to learn? What's the main idea? Okay, sometimes it's like, um, friendship is important or be kind to the earth. It's the lesson that we're taking away from the story. So let's read the title and then there's a subtitle together. Put your finger on the word the. Ready? Read. The Golden Flower, a Taino myth from Puerto Rico. Nice job. So we're thinking about what do myths help us understand? And we're going to find the theme. Turn the page. And I'm going to do the reading. Your eyes are on your page. I see some kids have a tracker out to help them track. You can use your finger to help you track. We're going to read. I'm going to read these pages. You're going to listen. And then we're going to see if we have any clues that we can add to our chart. Ready? My turn. In the beginning of the world, there was no water anywhere on earth. There was only a tall mountain that stood alone on a wide desert plain. There were no green plants. There were no flowers. All the people lived on top of this mountain. Interesting. I want you to turn and talk to someone next to you. Tell them what the world was like. 
from the beginning of time. Were there any plants? One, two, three, back to me. Nice job. All right, I heard a lot of different things. I heard people say there was no water. Yes. The world was a desert. Yes. And all the people lived on one mountain. Yes. Right? So do we have a theme yet? No. No. But we have a clue. We know that the world was very different than it is today. Because it was very empty, wasn't it? Okay? And sometimes if I'm not sure about something, I have to reread for understanding. So at first I was thinking, that's what do they mean? There was only a tall mountain. So I reread that paragraph if I'm not sure. There was only a tall mountain that stood alone on a wide desert plain. Hmm, that's what it says. How did they live with no water? There's a lot of things I don't understand they about this, right? Flowers. So, and that's why it's important to remember this is a myth, right? So we're going to read on to answer that question. How do they live without water? I want you to turn the page. They must have some source to Oh, wait, you don't turn the page. Um, yes. yes. Okay, turn the page. Thank you. Okay. Page 40. And we're going to add a clue to our chart when I read this, okay? So you're following along with your eyes and pointers. I'm going to read. Here we go. One day, a child went walking on the dry land below the mountain. As he bent down over the ground looking for food, something floated by on the wind. He reached out and caught it in his hand. It was a seed, a small brown seed. He put the seed into his pouch. The next day he went walking and again found something as it floated by on the wind. It was another seed. Day by day, he gathered those seeds until his pouch was full. It could not hold any more. And the child said to himself, I will plant these seeds at the top of the mountain. So we're gonna stop for a second because I think I might have, we might have a couple of clues now. Okay, I'm noticing kind of a theme starting to emerge as I'm reading. What was the world like in the beginning of time? A um, desert. A desert. A there desert. Were, were there trees? No. no. Flowers? No. No. Uh, no water. Rivers, lakes, and streams? No. No water. Just the desert. But now something's starting to change. Well, kind of. Okay. Right. So the clue, the first clue I notice is the world is a dry desert with no plants or water. Do you agree? Yes. Long. But now, what has the little boy begun to collect? Seeds. Seeds. What do we know comes from seeds? Plants. 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 So if he's finding seeds, I'm kind of wondering if the world might start to change once he gets this. But I'm also wondering where they came from and how a seed is going to grow without water. So I have lots of wonderings as I'm reading, okay? But we do notice that we've got a clue, a clue about the theme now. Okay, turn the page. Whoa. If you have already. That looks very funny. I didn't know you people used to draw names like that. Now, what do you notice just looking at the pictures at the top of the mountain? The gold. Look, look at the top of the mountain on page 492. The There's plants now. There's plants now. Were there plants before? No. Hmm. So I want to read to find out more about that. Ready? You're going to follow along with your pointers. I'm going to read. Here we go. He planted the seeds and waited. One morning, a tiny green leaf appeared. The child watched. From under the ground, a forest began to grow high on top of the mountain. All the people came to see. It was a forest of many colored flowers, a magic garden of green leaves and thick branches. The child was happy. We'll stop for a minute. How long does it usually take a, a forest to grow? 
Like years, 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 years. 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 Did it take years for this forest to grow? No, Maybe it was one so more. So we that's why this is a myth, right? This is where the magic part comes in, the fairy tale. When we're talking about myths, there's usually something kind of magical. I love so, your apple and your food. Thank you. Turn and talk to your partner or the person next to you. And you tell about it. what is magical about the, the story so far. Tell about what it's makes magical. it a myth. Yes. 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 Makes it a myth. It's magical. How did this appear? And this is How did this appear? But there's a rainy season and it makes enough for it to last. All right, put your finger on the word in on page 493. Nice job following along. Ready? I'm going to read. You're going to listen. In the middle of the forest, at the foot of the tallest tree, there grew a vine that wrapped itself around the tree. And from that vine, there grew a flower more beautiful than all the rest. A bright flower with golden petals. Stop for a minute, I have another clue. Okay, at the beginning of our story, the world is a dry desert with no plants or water. Then what happens? The boy finds a seed. He plants the seed. And what grows? A golden flower. Oh, and what's the title of the story? The golden flower. So might that be an important clue? We use our titles to figure that out too. I already know what the theme is. What's your prediction? Turn and talk to your partner and predict what the theme might be. on the dry land far below, people could see it shining on top oh. of the mountain. One woman said, if you put your ear next to the ball, you can hear strange noises coming from inside. The people listened. Strange sounds and murmuring could be heard, but nobody knew what was hidden inside. I'm going to stop before that last sentence. I see that word murmuring. If I'm not sure about a word, we can use our context clues to figure it out, the words around it. Okay, so I want you to think about what murmuring might 
mean? I'm going to read the sentence again, and then you and your partner are going to explain what murmuring means. Here we go. The people listened. Strange sounds and murmuring could be heard. That's your partner. I'm trying to figure out what murmuring means. If you have an idea of what murmuring means, would you raise your hand? What can murmuring mean? Whispering. Could be whispering. What can murmuring mean? Um, or is it Okay. Um, in the back, what can murmuring mean? Um, scary noises. Ooh, I like that too. We're using our clues to figure that out, right? Yes. Whispering. Whispering. Everyone, would you just murmur real quick? It's kind of a mumble whisper. It's not shouting because we know it's hard to hear. Good job. I have one more sentence to read on this page. Would you put your finger on it? Two more sentences. My turn. The people were afraid. After that, they all stayed away. Even the child stayed away. Okay, so think about their point of view. There's this weird glowing globe and murmuring is coming from it. Raise your hand if you'd be afraid. Mm. That's a little uncomfortable, right? From that point of view, they've never seen it before. That's confusing. I'm going to add one more thing because what else grew? Well, we don't know exactly what it is. A, gold, a golden mushroom. Globe. Globe. It could be a mushroom. Okay. But I might add more of this. Is. Turn the page and let's see if it answers our question. Is it part of it? Oh, oh, do not. You're on page 496. <laughs> You ready? Put your finger on the first word. My turn. One day, a man walking on the desert plain saw the golden ball. He said, if that shining ball were mine, I would have the power of the sun. I could light up the sky or make darkness fall. And he ran toward it, climbing up the rocky mountainside. So what is he thinking? That's power, that it can give him power. Powers. Is that usually something that we see in myths a lot? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, someone's got the power. Someone's got the magic. So he's thinking, I'm going to get the power of the sun. Okay. I'm wondering why do they want the ball? What's the answer? Power. Would you find that in your text? Find that text evidence? Find the sentence that explains why they want the ball. Point to it. How do we have the power of the sun? Can you find the evidence? Can you find the text evidence? Did you find the sentence? Yes. What does it say? using your text evidence. We can infer it. Sometimes we just know the answer because of our schema, our background knowledge, but we can find the answer in the text too. Okay, my turn here, we're on. Don't turn the page, but we're on the page right next to it. On the other side of the mountain, another man saw the shining globe and he also said, I want that thing for myself. It will give me great powers. He too began to run. Each one climbed quickly. Each one found a footpath that led to the tree. They are racing toward the golden globe. Turn the page. Turn the page. It's a pumpkin with a globe. What is the golden globe? A pumpkin with water in it. And fish. Whoa. And fish. Whoa. And fish. Water. Fish. All the things that the world needs to survive. Crabs. So I'm going to read these two pages. I want you to think of another clue we can add to our theme. It's like, it's that's a magic pumpkin. That's a magic pumpkin. That's a magic pumpkin. Take your fingers. Because there's a whale oh in it. Take your fingers. Oh, they're pumpkin fingers. Where's the word they? I mean, it's they. And let's read this page together with me. Ready? They both ran and out stopping. Until they reached the shining glow at the same time. 
But what they found was not really a ball. It was the fruit of the golden flower, a calabaza, a pumpkin. Stop. Context clues. What's a calabaza? A pumpkin. A pumpkin. All we have to do is read on to find the answer. Put your finger on the word the. Ready? Read. The two men began to fight and argue. It is mine, said one. No, it is mine, said the other. Great expression. I'm going to stop, though, and I'm going to add a clue here. Pretend you haven't seen that pumpkin of loin yet, okay? Wait, I made up the you already have all three clues. The There's boy a finds a seed and a forest and golden flower grow. What comes from the golden flower? Golden Fish pie. and water. And I'm going to write, it is a pumpkin. pumpkin. Okay? Now or we're going to get to our next clue. A calabaza. I feel like this page is important. Or a calabaza. Nice job. Ready? Let's read it. 499. Each man grabbed the pumpkin. They pushed and pulled. They pulled and tugged until finally the vine broke. The pumpkin began to roll down the mountain faster and faster until it crashed into a sharp rock and burst apart. Okay, if we're confused about something, then we have to reread to understand. Turn the page and explore the page. Turn the page. Check it out. There's a whale in it. Talk to, talk to your partner about what you see. I see a whale. I see a dolphin. I see a crab. I see a crab. I see a fish. I see a lily pad. I see a pumpkin. I see a book. strange things that they've never seen before. Do you understand why they're running to the top of the mountain? Because they are feeling what? Scared. Afraid. Scared. Afraid. Scared. That's their point of view. This is how they okay, so we're going to stop there because now you can make a prediction about what our theme is, about what's going to happen next, but you'll have to finish the story tomorrow. So close your books. Boy. What? Put your markers in that spot and close it. You have to finish the story tomorrow. Are you on the edge of your seat or what? 